everyone swore my Sarabrook and Karima for FIFA 21, and we are continuing on our, uh, first Bundesliga season here. We are going to start things off here. I'm going to sim this match against Werder Bremen, and take a look at what's on deck on the, uh, the month of September. So, I'm going to sim these games against Werder Bremen, Borussia Dortmund, and Bayer Leverkusen. I'm going to sim all the Bundesliga games. And the reason for that is because I do want to focus on the Europa League this season. I do want to play this away match at Greece against Panathinaikos. And I'm also going to be hosting Sport in Lisbon to end things off here. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But I'm going to go ahead before I continue on. I'm going to go ahead and just, in case something goes weird... Okay, Bremen's sitting in 11th right now, which... Actually, before I get into this match, I do want to show the table. We are currently 5th. As you can see, Werder Bremen is 11th. We are just outside the Champions League spots. Which, the board wants us to qualify for the Champions League, but we're not too far off. Hertha Berlin is in the 4th position. Schalke is in 3rd, which is kind of a surprise. Uh, Bayern in 2nd, Dortmund in 1st. Even though it's early in the season, but the... Uh, Teams in danger of relegation are Freiburg and Bielefeld, with Dusseldorf occupying the playoff spot. Let me see goal scorers so far. We have nobody on top. Our highest goal scorer for us is uh, Nicolas Gonzalez. Okay, my OBS kind of froze. I'm sorry I didn't say anything, but my OBS just completely froze. Let me go ahead and show the league table once again. Just to show you guys here real quick. I don't know what was going on with OBS. I hope that's not going to be a problem, but... I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. And I'm going to show you guys the goal scoring list here, too. Why does it keep on freezing up? I don't like that. I don't like that it keeps on freezing up like this. I'm not sure if that's going to record... Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to bleed in through the recording or not, but you can see here that the Nicholas Gonzalez is a leading goal scorer. And our top assisters are, are Ambolo and Wolf, as well as Jakob Boonlison. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried, to be honest with you. But we are going to go ahead and sim this match against Stuttgart. Hopefully that's just a hiccup. Hopefully that's nothing more, anything more serious. Which OBS is lagging like crazy. I... I don't know what's going on here, but I'm not liking it. But I'm going to go ahead and quick sim this. But yeah, OBS is acting super laggy right now, guys. I'm not even... But we do end up with a one nothing victory. Uh, Nicholas Gonzalez could have made a 2-0, but Darwin Nunez... Gets a goal in the 30 minute mark. Okay, there we go. I, I don't know why OBS is acting like this, but. Something I got to keep an eye out on. But we are going to play with our, our first team here in this match against Panathinaikos. Hopefully 
hoping OBS is done with its BS. Corniakis and Costi, I'm planning on sending both of them out on loan, the Greek Youth Academy prospects. Avilam Zve, want him on a short-term loan, which we're going to go ahead and accept that. And Corniakis, I mean, yeah, Corniakis. Yeah, well, Corniakis is looking at a two-year loan deal at Gostepe over in Turkey. We're going to go ahead and accept that. But we're going to get straight in here. And speaking of Greece, we are going to be traveling to Greece. We are going to be taking on Panathinaikos. You can see they're playing a 4-2-3-1 for, uh, formation. Federico Macheda, the former Manchester United striker. Villafania is playing behind them. Uh, let's see. I'd be lying if I said that I recognized anybody else on that team. But we're going to go ahead and look at Kitze real quick. I think I'm going to put our away kits on. I don't think I've featured our away kits enough in this particular season thus far, but... Their badge looking very similar. They're great to the fruits a little bit. Of course, uh, they have the... Three-leaf clover, and Celtic has a four-leaf clover. But, um... But yeah, without further ado, hopefully OBS... I, I think everything's fine now. With OBS, hopefully that stays like that. But without further ado, we're going to get into this match here against the uh, one of the most storied clubs in Greek football. As Manuel Akanji is our featured player here. But I really hope OBS does not crap out while I'm playing this. Especially when I score an awesome goal. If I score an awesome goal. See, I'm keeping my eye on both my laptop and my TV right now. See, whenever I record these... these videos I'm watching at my television set I'm not looking at the computer so but I did notice under my peripheral vision that my OBS was staying still that's what caught me off guard but anyway we are beginning our Europa League campaign here in Greece Those kits kind of remind me of Darmstadt kits a little bit, and uh, FIFA 22. Don't ask me why, but it might it might be the pinstripes. I don't know, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. And I don't want copywritten, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the intro there. Of course, we're missing tackles left and right. That's typical. Ah, oh, come on! Ratchet gets the ball. Duarte to Jakob Brun Larson. Larson, can you make a, a good cross here? Nicholas Gonzalez? Nicholas Gonzalez continuing his fine form for us. Okay, can we make it a quick fire double? Not like that, we can't. Oh! Wait a minute. Was there a foul somewhere? Where Charleston goes from Ch Everton to Chelsea, that's an interesting transfer. Oh, 
why am I missing tackles? Okay, Boone Larson. Okay, Cody, Cody Gakpo. Has grown like an absolute weed in this game. I'm absolutely delighted with the growth that he's had in his team so far. You see good cross from Jakobu Larson. Okay, so far OBS seems to be doing okay, so I'm not gonna... ...worry too much. Nicholas Gonzalez, nice! And Bolo, beautiful! So not only does Nicholas Gonzalez get a goal, but he gets an assist as well. Which I thought I was celebrating with uh, Gonzalez, but I ended up celebrating with Boone Lewis in there. But I think that is going to be all she wrote here. Hopefully we don't end up blowing this. And Mbolo adds another goal nine minutes from time. We do keep the clean sheet in Greece. So we get our Europa League campaign off to the perfect start here. Sporting ended up uh, defeating LSKA Linz. But we are going to go ahead. We're going to sim forward here. We are going to go into this match against Borussia Dortmund. This is a 1-3-2 match. I should actually play this game. You know, I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to play this. But this game is too important. I really think I'm going to play this match. I, I was originally going to sim this match, but... I mean, this is going to go a long way towards securing Champions League qualifications. So, I think in this case, I'm going to have to play this match. Okay, a transfer offer for Breitenbach, a player that I am looking to sell on. Uh, Soto Vergam is looking forward to... That's just at his uh, transfer value. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Hopefully, the Belgian side... Gets in. Hopefully that deal goes through. Uh, Cock wants to play. I'm going to tell him like I usually do. Uh, we got bigger games ahead. But yeah, I'm actually going to play my second team here against Dortmund. I'm going to keep the kits on as they are. And I'm looking right now, this is a very interesting Dortmund setup. It's a 3-1-2-1, a 3-4-2-1 formation. Berkey is the goalkeeper, Militao close to mid, and Joe Gomez is the center back trio. Branton and Didi in midfield. Torgan Hazard and Jaden Sancho still with Bruce and Dortmund at the time this game was made. Uh, Memphis Depay and Adriz Mertens playing behind Erling Haaland. So this is a much stronger side than the team I versed against. I, 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 don't, I don't really remember it was this, this career. Whatever career mode I played Dortmund in. I think it was this one. I, it's I'm getting my, my career modes mixed up, but this is pretty much a, as strong of a side as you'll see Bruce or Dortmund put on the pitch. But uh, clear skies at the signal Duna Park. And I think it is this because, as a matter of fact, in my Darmstadt career mode, um, I played it. No. No, it was, it was in my Darmstadt career mode uh, where they played uh, Borussia Dortmund in the um, Super Cup. On this career mode, we played Bayern Munich. I just remember that because I remember Thomas Mueller having a baller of a game in a Super Cup against... Borussia Dortmund. Marius Wolf is a former... I end up buying him from Borussia Dortmund. Huge matchup here in the Bundesliga to begin the season. As you can see, the yellow wall.
some of the most passionate fans you'll see in Germany. And yet the sad thing is, this is a team that you could define as so close yet so far. And those D Bruiser Dortmund kids kind of remind me of the um, Pokemon Electabuzz a little bit. You can see Jaden Sancho. Almost a steal from Darwin Nunez. There is a ball applying pressure. Playing way out of position, I might add. Wolf, the former Dortmund player, getting the ball. Okay, can we get... Nope. Good save by Berkey. But he was unable to stop that one. And that's uh, uh, the American Pax and Palma call that slams at home to begin the game. Birky was going to the right, so was I, but Palma Cal goes to the left. A player that I initially wasn't even planning on having as part of my team, but. He ended up performing admirably, and he ended up usurping fellow American J uh, Jesus Ferreira, which I ended up parting ways with. Palma Cow, can you make it too? Yes, you can! As Paxson Palma Cow punishing Borussia Dortmund so far. Tell you what, they perform like they're performing like this now. I have no problem playing my second team in our home match against Sporting Lisbon at the end of this video. There is a ball applying good pressure. It's just he just can't get the, as soon as I say that he does get the ball. Am I looking at a, a Pax and Pomacal hat trick here? Oh, he he slips. He did a Steven Gerrard slip there. I kind of want to get him a hat trick. There we go. Can you get it? Yes, he can. The riser ball with the, the initial cross. Pomacow stumbles on his two feet, but I was able to get him and regroup around the box, and I was able to find him wide open inside the box. Dang! Possibly the, uh... The most talented, the best performance from a center attacking mid that the, uh, Dortmund fans have seen since the days of Mario Götze. And that was just a bad pass no matter how you look at it. I don't know why nobody responded to that. Okay, Durham, another former Dortmund player. Can Palmer Cow make it four? Yes, he can! Pax and Palmer Cow putting this team to the sword right now and putting our team on his shoulders right now. He's been absolutely carrying us in this game. As we are going to jump to the result, we do keep the clean sheet, but what a performance by the American. I don't know where Darwin Nunez was at that entire... You would have thought his pace would have taken advantage of that Dortmund uh, center-back trio, but he was non-existent in that game. And Pomacow was probably like, hey, if you're not going to do anything, I'm going to do something, so... But my word, he did.
Let me just make sure. I know. I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, that is my. You guys are probably wondering, what the heck are you doing, Teddy? Okay, hopefully, um, Breitenbach will be on his way to Belgium. Hopefully. Okay, Breitenbach has been sold. Kossi will be going out on a short-term loan to Willems V. Korniakis will be on a two-year loan to Go Steppe. Uh, uh, Jesse Hoffman. Loan offer from Famalicau. Which I'm going to go ahead and delegate for a one-year loan move. You can see he had a previous loan deal. It was accepted, but he turned it down. But we are up against 8th place Leverkusen. We are currently 2nd, which Hertha having a good season so far. Five losses and one, uh, five wins and one loss to their name, whereas we have the four wins and one draw. But I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and quick sim this. 4 2 3 1, uh, Duvon Zapata up front, uh, Cabreras behind him. Leon Bailey, Aranguiz out wide, Amiri and Fred. That's an interesting signing. Kabak playing alongside Yedvai, Sacco, Angelino out wide, and Radetzky in goal. And we suffer our first loss of the season, and Miri ends up getting the winner in the 40th minute. That's a little bit of a letdown, especially after we beat Dortmund. Or should I say, Pastor Pomacal beat Dortmund. But we fail to take advantage of um, the game in hand. But we are back in the Europa League. We will be playing this game to end the episode. Yeah, that's a disappointment. I really was hoping we could, we would have won that game. But we are hosting Sporting Lisbon, one of the three big clubs in Portugal. Okay, they are playing a 3-4-3 flat formation. Don't really see that a whole lot. Maximiano, the high potential goalkeeper. Uh, Bataglia, uh, Jao Paulinha, and Dumbia make up the center back trio. G. Dong Wan, uh, Enrique Agbenyenu, and... Ristovsky, the North Macedonian international on the right-hand side. Vieto, Sporar, and Camacho make up the front three. Sporar, the, I believe he is a Slovenian striker, so... Let me just see their kits here real quick. I'm keeping our kits on, but I kind of want to see those. Yeah, we'll keep those on. Oh, I'm not playing in the showers. I do want to play. No, I didn't want... I cannot believe I just seriously quick sim that. Well, Darwin Nunez ends up winning it for us, but I did not want to sim that game, guys. I really did not. I wanted to play it. Oh, that was a big L on my part, but whatever, we end up winning. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, we're up against Bayern Munich. I'm going to have to play this game. That's going to be the beginning of the next episode. I am going to end things off here. I'm going to put my strongest starting lineup up against the uh, Bavarian Giants. But the next episode, we'll be playing this game against Bayern Munich. I cannot believe I just accidentally simmed that game against Sporting. But we'll play the away leg for sure. But we are going to be playing this game against Bayern Munich. We are going to be simming this game against Freiburg. We are going to be playing this game against uh, LSKA. We're going to be simming this game against Cologne. And we're going to be playing this cup game because we do have, a, we do have an ob objective, if I could speak English, to... Uh, 
go, I think it's the quarterfinals of the DFB Pokal, and then we're going to end things off by simming the game against Herita. But, um, let's see. Well, let's see our objective here real quick. Yeah, they want us to win the whole thing. That's what I thought. Which shouldn't be an issue. Players on international duty. I don't really care about that. But there we go. We are going to have a dynamite uh, game to start off the next episode. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.